What's going on guys? This is going to be a brief video benchmarking the new Modern Warfare for PC. And of course, I'm going to give my two cents on what I think about the game so far. You can find all the benchmarking metrics in the top left of the screen here. I know it looks a little bit confusing, uh, but basically it's got my CPU metrics, GPU metrics, RAM, frame time, frame rate, temperatures, and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys are able to read it. I'm benchmarking with MSI Afterburner, which is a really popular software. Okay, so I am running a i7-9700K, slightly overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz, and I have an EVGA GTX 1080 with 16 gigabytes of G-Skills RAM clocked at 3200 megahertz. The game mode I'm playing while benchmarking is Team Deathmatch and Headquarters. Alright, so let's start the video off by restoring the graphics to their default settings. I have no idea why it put me at 50% resolution for default. We have to remember that this is a beta. Nothing is going to be absolutely perfect out of the gates. Uh, this is a time for testing, and there will be apparent problems. Okay, first, let's start with the positive aspects of this beta. I couldn't tell you how happy I was to play a Call of Duty that had real modern firearms and didn't have things like electric hoverboards, robots running at light speed with swords, uh, electric zapper guns, and attack dogs. And the overall feel of the game is really good. The gunplay is really robust and well thought out, and all the animations look so badass. And I have yet to find anything in this game that looks really cheesy. They really nailed it in the gunplay and animations department. The gunsmith, you can really uh, make the gun your own, and you can also mess up a gun really bad in this. I think this is the first Call of Duty where you can actually truly mess up your gun by putting the wrong attachments on it. And the guns have some oomph behind them, you know? When you shoot it, you feel it. It's very satisfying, especially the shotgun. And all the firearms and the attachments are real. The names are different for licensing reasons, but they're actually real things, which I think makes the game more immersive and credible. And the gun models are done really well. As far as map design for the smaller game modes like Team Deathmatch and Headquarters, they're pretty good, and I've really enjoyed it so far. Except for when I rage because I got killed by an OP attack chopper. Having over 20 hours in the beta already, uh, I've played a lot of it, and uh, I did notice that you will get shot from very random areas. This game will make you paranoid as hell. I don't think that this has to do with map design. I think it just goes down to the core design of the game. It is a little bit slower Call of Duty, and people want to play slower. And slower games breed campers. And camping isn't necessarily a terrible thing. It is a strategy. It's all about where you camp that will define a good strategic playstyle from a toxic camper. But this is all just my opinion. I really thought that PC guys were going to be dominating the console guys, but this doesn't really seem to be the case. You don't see one platform dominating the other. It's fairly balanced. Though I do think PC has a tiny bit of an advantage. It's still a little too early to tell though, uh, with none of the meta out. I did notice when I played with a majority of console players that the server was slightly laggy. This could have just been coincidence, I'm not sure, and this could have led to the netcode issues I experienced, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Now let's talk a little bit about the not-so-savory parts of the beta. The performance. Now, I would like to think I have a decent computer, and I play it 1080p at 144Hz. My frames weren't all that great, and especially when I went outside into a large area, my frames would drop upwards of 50 frames, which makes it really hard to identify and acquire targets when you have a lot of choppiness and jitteriness. 
and this really only happens when I'm outside in a large area. When I'm inside, like in a warehouse or something, the gameplay and the, the performance is actually really good, with minimal screen tear and choppiness. I did notice some pretty apparent netcode issues in the beta. And having solid netcode in a very competitive, fast-paced first-person shooter game is a must. And I am not a network professional by any means. Netcode is the quality of the client's connection to the game server, packet and data transfer from the client to the game server, and the game server back to the client. Uh, the game server's tick rate, and all of that as a collective is the netcode. The spawn points. Uh, the spawns do need help. Sometimes you'll spawn in and there'll be an enemy right behind you and you don't even have a second of the game to, to react. And with the performance not being up to par, it's hard to do twitch shots and spin around and shoot them really quick because there's a lot of jitteriness and choppiness going on. Now don't get it twisted, this game doesn't run like complete trash. It runs okay, but it could use some uh, performance improvements to help with the frame rate and some of the choppiness. And what's really strange, on the forums I've heard reports of people on console having screen tear problems. Which I thought was kind of weird, I've never really heard of that, but then again, I don't play on console. One performance problem that is constant in this game on PC is when you ADS, it's really jittery and choppy. And this really screws you up when you're acquiring targets, and that could be the difference between getting a kill or dying. And that same jitteriness is apparent when you're going prone or getting up from the prone position. There's something that I noticed, uh, at least with my experience, I noticed a slight blurriness to the game. Uh, nothing was super crisp and sharp. Uh, this may change, but it was kind of jarring to, to look in the distance and notice how blurry it was. I think this has to do with some sort of downsampling of resolution and textures, or it could have had something to do with me not having anisotropic filtering on Ultra for performance reasons. I'm not exactly sure though. But straight up, this game has some serious potential, man. I think once Infinity Ward puts their magic touch on this, optimizes the game, makes it run butter smooth, this game's gonna be a huge, huge hit. And you're definitely gonna find me playing this game in the future. There are a group of people who I think will not end up liking this game in the long run, and those are what I like to call the COD purists, or the jetpack kitties. The ones who are used to laser guns and running on the walls and jetpacks and padding their scores with specialist streaks. But for those of us who play Battlefield, Insurgency, Escape from Tarkov, games in that genre, this Call of Duty, it's for us. This is where we shine. Thanks for watching, guys. It means a lot to me. And uh, if you're feeling really generous, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later.